How do I come across to you? Do I come across as somebody secure in who he is? Do I come across as somebody who knows what he's talking about? Do I come across as a man fully confident in who he is and the reality around him? Do I? Of course I do. <laughs> of course I come across as secure and confident and in control of myself. Control of myself and of the reality around me, that my environment. Sure, I come across that way. I know that. Yeah. Do you think that this happened overnight? Do you think that, you know, one day I woke up and, uh, hey, I'm in control. I'm confident. I'm secure. I'm secure in who I am. I have no insecurities whatsoever. Do you think that it happened overnight that, you know, I took a pill? Mm? Do you think I took a pill or, or maybe just like sprinkled like magic dust over my head or something like that? Or maybe like a genie out of some bottle granted me, you know, uh, three wishes and one of them was for me to be like confident and secure. Do you think that that's what happened? Hell no. I was an insecure little spurg. Of course I was. Like we all are. We're all insecure spurgs. It's, it's natural. There are very few, if any, young men who grow up perfectly secure and in control of themselves and, and confident, walking along like we know what the fuck we're doing. Uh-uh. Most of the time we have no fucking clue what we're doing. That's the truth of the matter. But see, we learned to fake it. At least I did. And at least all the guys that I knew, yeah, they faked it. Yeah. They felt incredibly insecure. Incredibly insecure. But what they did is they controlled this feeling. Remember, the difference between a man and everything else on this earth, every other living being on this earth, including women and including lesser men, the difference between men, us, and everyone else is that we can control our emotions. We can set aside our emotions and allow our reason, our logic, our knowledge, our acquired experience to dictate our actions for our benefit. And one of the things that you have to do for your benefit is to control your insecurity. Now, I have to emphasize, there's nothing wrong with being insecure. There's nothing wrong with being anxious. There's nothing wrong with feeling fear. No, there's nothing wrong with that at all. It's perfectly normal. But what is wrong and what is unacceptable is to allow your fear, your insecurity, your anxiety, to dictate your actions, to control what you do. That is unacceptable. It's the difference between the hero and the coward. Because the hero and the coward both feel fear. But it's the hero who controls his fear, manages it, and thinks clearly, awake, rationally. Whereas the coward, he just succumbs to his fight or flight response. Now, currently, a lot of people think that anxiety and insecurity are maladies. And if you took a pill, you'll be fine. No, <laughs> no, that's absolutely wrong. Anxiety is not a feeling to be solved with a pill. This anti-anxiety medications, no, you're just stoned, see? Anxiety is an emotion that every man has to learn to manage because we all feel it. Every single man feels it. And those who succumb to, this, to, to, to these meds, those who take pills in order to control their anxiety, well, they are lesser men because they are not able to control their anxiety, their natural fear. They are unable to control it by themselves. And they have a chemical dependency. It's no different from an alcoholic or somebody addicted to heroin. A guy who's using anti-anxiety meds is a guy who is unable to deal without medication. He's enslaved to his medication, to his addiction. You see what I mean? So you're asking, without meds, how do you deal with anxiety? By stress. The more stress, the better. Because as you stress yourself, you will be able to learn how to control your anxiety. As you get into situations where you do feel anxious, well, it, you're going to have to learn the tools to control your anxiety. And that's how you rein it in. Well, let me give you an example. Some of you might know that I got a motorcycle. Yeah, I haven't ridden a motorcycle in like close to 30 years actually. Uh, but uh, recently I got a motorcycle, you know, it's probably my midlife crisis, but 
the point is, I got a motorcycle, and when I started riding it around, do you have any idea how anxious I was? Do you have any idea how nervous I was? I was shitloads nervous. I was really, really fucking scared, really fucking anxious. Yeah, I was anxious that I would fall. I was anxious that I would hit somebody. I was scared. I was nervous. I was insecure. I was anxious. I was all those things. And now, after a few hundred miles of riding, close to a thousand miles as a matter of fact, how am I feeling? Huh? What do you think? I don't feel anxiety. No. Because I've learned to master my anxiety. Of course I felt anxious getting on the motorcycle. Of course I felt anxious and nervous uh, with the traffic and what have you. Of course I felt insecure. But by stressing myself, by challenging myself, by pushing myself, riding more and more, I learned the tools to control my anxiety. My anxiety levels went down. And now, you know, I'm looking forward to riding the bike. Oh yeah, I look forward to it, you know. I can't wait to get on the motorcycle. Yeah, and that anxiety, gone. And because I no longer am anxious, what happens? Well, I'm much better at reacting to uh, uh, situations that arise. Since I'm not so anxious when unpredictable things happen around me, you know, a car crosses me or whatever. Since I'm not anxious, I react better. I make smarter decisions because I'm not ruled by my fear. I have learned to control my anxiety, control my insecurity. And because of it, if a car suddenly swerves in front of me, I know what to do. I know how to brake really fast. I know how to swerve around an oncoming car. I know what's going to happen. You see? And I'm not so afraid. Because the terrible thing about allowing anxiety to rule your life is that your life falls under the shadow of fear. You're always afraid. And, and the anxiety you feel in one thing it sort of like starts to seep out into other areas of your life. And, and, and the insecurity you feel in one thing seeps out into other corners of your life. And insecurity and anxiety can be cured. And you cure them by rubbing them as much as you can. Rubbing them and having the friction of the world rub away and destroy your anxiety and insecurity. That's how you cure these things. Not with a psychotherapist, not with pills, but by experience. You're afraid of talking to girls, right? Sure, we all are. We've all been there. Yeah, you know, we're all scared of talking to girls. I actually don't know why, but we are. We think that, you know, they're, they're lions that'll eat us, right? But you go up to enough girls and you lose that anxiety. You start approaching enough girls out in the street, forcing yourself to do so. And soon enough, you're not afraid. You go up to the hottest girl enough times. And yes, of course, you're going to make a fool of yourself the first one, two, three, ten times. Sure, you will make a fool of yourself. No question. But in your drive to kill that anxiety that you feel about girls, you approach enough girls and eventually you're not going to be nervous anymore. You're not going to be insecure. You're not going to be anxious. You're not going to be afraid. And because you are no longer afraid, you'll be able to approach them. And because you're able to approach them confidently, without fear, without anxiety, because you've rubbed away that insecurity like, like sandpaper against wood, right? What's going to happen is that that confidence will seep out into other areas of your life. The confidence in one area bleeds out into the rest of your life, which is what you want. Oh yeah, confidence is like that. Just like anxiety is like that, you see? And that's why whenever you identify something that you're anxious with, you have to attack it. You have to go after it, take that sandpaper that is the world and rub against it until it's all gone. That is the only way to eliminate anxiety. But it takes work. It takes discipline. It's not easy. Like all good things in life, it's hard. It's hard and the thing that's the worst, of course, is that you're going to be afraid. You know, riding my motorcycle at first, right? I was riding around 
And I was scared, anxious, sure, worried about this, worried about that. But I was riding. I was out in the middle of the highway, riding the bike. And yeah, I felt anxiety, but what the hell else am I going to do but keep on riding? I got to keep on riding because I'm, you know, 20 miles away, 50 miles away from home. What am I going to do? Just like chuck it, chuck the bike and just stand there by the side of the road? No, I got to keep on riding. And that's what you have to do. You got to keep on riding. You know, nowadays, everybody's so worried about safety. They talk about safety all the time. Are you safe? Do you feel safe? Fuck that. Fuck safety. I don't, I don't care about safety. Okay? Uh-uh. See, because if safety means that I have to live in fear, then I prefer to be unsafe. Yeah. Because there's nothing worse than living in fear. Hmm? See, when I was young, I lived in fear. Hmm? I lived in a lot of anxiety and fear. Because my old man was, like I've said in other videos, he was a bully and a bastard. He really did terrorize me when I was young, when I was young, young, when I was like a boy. Yeah? He terrorized me and I was so anxious and nervous and insecure. Mm -hmm. And I think about that time and I don't quite understand how it happened that somehow I just OD'd on anxiety and, and realized that I did not want to live in fear ever again. And whenever I'm afraid of something, I go towards it because I want to rub away that fear. Mm -hmm. I realized that because of how my old man was, such a bastard, such a bullying fuckstick, right? I could have turned out into a sniveling little bitch. Mm -hmm. I really could have. But something, I don't know what, made me rebel against that fate. And I thank goodness. Now, of course, sometimes that has led me to do things that are almost foolhardy because I feared them, and rightly so. And perhaps this issue of me riding a motorcycle is one of those things where I shouldn't really be doing it because it is potentially very dangerous. But the idea of living in fear, that terrifies me. The idea of being afraid, of being anxious, of being insecure, when I know the solution, it's a solution I'm telling you, you have to go to that fear, go to that insecurity, do that thing that makes you afraid, do that thing that makes you anxious, do that thing that makes you feel insecure, and do it over and over and over again, no matter how humiliating, no matter how miserable it makes you feel. Just wallow in that anxiety and that fear and that insecurity. And you keep on rubbing it. You keep on sanding it down until it's gone. That's what you have to do. And that's, well, it's worked for me. And I think it's going to work for anybody. Hmm. That's enough for today.